Complete your Canadian tuxedo look with the Air Jordan 4 Levi's. I'm kidding, these shoes are fire. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the Air Jordan 4 Retro Levi's NRG. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So today was very exciting because I was able to pick up a pair of the Air Jordan 4 Levi's at Ubik Philadelphia. I want to give a huge shout out to Ubik when I lived in Philly, that was my main sneaker destination. The store has a great selection and the employees are awesome, I can't say enough good things about them. They didn't sponsor this video or anything, I just wanted to give them a shout out because that's where I picked up these shoes and also it's just a pleasure every time I go. So make sure to check them out next time you're in Philly. I'll also leave a link to their website in the description below. But I was super lucky to be able to pick up a pair of the Air Jordan 4 Levi's today and I've got to say in hand they're fire. Before we get into the shoes themselves, let's take a quick look at the box. This box is one of the more premium Jordan boxes that I've seen in a long time. Obviously, because it's a collaboration, a lot of effort went into the packaging itself, but they really knocked it out of the park. The box is covered in this matte red finish that almost has a satin-like feel to it, which is crazy. You've got a gold Jumpman debossed into the top, and then Levi's debossed into either side. On the front of the box, you've got a red metal accent, and then of course you've got your size tag. The official colorway of the Air Jordan 4 Retro Levi's NRG is denim, Denim Sale Game Red. And of course the retail price was 225 bucks and the best part about buying shoes in Philadelphia is that there's no sales tax. So that's cool. Inside the box you've got this red card that says in gold, Jordan and Levi's are together again, fusing the signature Air Jordan style with Levi's premium denim. These two icons of sport and style reimagine their roots by combining the beauty of the Air Jordan 4 and the authentic heritage of Levi's Strauss & Co. And then right before you get to the shoes, you get white paper with Levi's Strauss Co. and Jordan printed onto it. But now for the part we've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 4 Retro Levi's NRG. So unlike a pair of new denim jeans that everyone loves, this pair of shoes is a little bit more polarizing. And to be honest, the main reason for that is that you can't really wear a pair of blue jeans with these shoes. It would just be this whole thing, it wouldn't really work for me, maybe if you wear some black jeans or some joggers or something like that, but don't think you can pull off blue jeans with these shoes. Now I say that first to get it out of the way because it shouldn't take away from the shoe itself. The shoe itself is actually beautifully constructed and the materials are really nice. Starting off on the toe of the shoe, you've got this indigo dyed Levi's denim. Something I really like about this material is that you can see the gray or the lines of the denim so it gives the shoe a really nice pattern. Around each panel you've got the signature Levi gold stitching. That adds a nice pop of color and really defines the different parts of the shoe. I'm kind of interested to see how this shoe creases because I'm sure it will and I'm sure it's going to look like a pair of jeans when it creases to be honest but it'll be interesting to see. Continuing back on the shoe you've got this light brown Levi Strauss and Air Jordan tag. The tag is made out of that same sort of cardboardy leathery material that they use on jeans right where your belt goes. On one side you've got the Levi Strauss logo with the two horses printed in red and then on the other side you've got the Jumpman and the Flight logo also in red. This tag of course replaces the regular standard plastic Air Jordan tag. This time around instead of your regular plastic lace eyelets, Jordan brand and Levi's opted for denim, obviously. Instead of your regular Air Jordan 4 midfoot netting, this time around they use the back side of the denim. That lighter white and blue material really adds some nice contrast to the shoe and I think it's a really cool idea that they use both sides of the material. Moving up the shoe, instead of the netting on the tongue, again they decided to use the back side of the leather. I wonder if the shoe will be hotter on feet than the regular Air Jordan 4. I don't really know because the netting really doesn't seem to let off much air in the regular for so maybe it'll be the same. I'm not sure. One of my favorite design details on the sneaker is that on the right shoe there's actually a red Levi's tag in the midfoot. That adds a really nice pop of color and contrasts the blue really nicely. Unfortunately it's not on the left shoe but what you gonna do? Moving up the shoe you've got flat laces dyed in that same indigo blue as the rest of the sneaker. At the end of the laces you've got these metal really dark copper color aglets. On the tongue of the sneaker is another one of my favorite details and that of course is the Jumpman tag. Levi's and Jordan again are using that same sort of cardboardy leather material that they use on the tag of the shoe and again the left shoe is different from the right shoe because on the left shoe the tag actually extends a little bit out to the left and then on that little extra bit of material you've got the size the name of the shoe and Levi's logo I really wonder how this material will hold up that kind of scares me a little bit but it is what it is I mean it's Levi's right they last forever so we'll see 
On the back of the tongue, you've got Air Jordan printed on that same material, and off to the left side, you've got the red Levi's logo. The sock liner of the shoe is covered in that same lighter backside of the denim. It's actually super soft. I really like that. And then the insole of the shoe is covered in blue indigo denim. The heel of the left side has Levi's logo, and the heel of the right side has the red Jumpman. As for fit, the Air Jordan 4 Levi's do seem to fit like any other Air Jordan 4. For me, that's true to size. But as I always suggest, if you have a chance to try the shoe on first before buying it, make sure to do that to make sure the sizing is right for you. Moving around to the back of the shoe, the regular plastic the heel tab is replaced with more denim. The familiar Air Jordan 4 grip bumps are still there and embossed into the material. And then rounding off the heel, you've got the Jumpman embossed into the material. Moving down the sneaker, a majority of the midsole is covered in more denim. These fabric covered midsoles that they use on Air Jordan 4s, like the Air Jordan 4 Cause, have always kind of been interesting for me because I don't know how long they're going to last, but I haven't heard too many complaints about them, so I'm sure they're fine. Of course, you've still got your window to the Air unit in the heel. This time around, it's in a red accent color. And then the denim around the hole has this really raw cut edge, which I actually kind of like. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got your standard Air Jordan 4 traction pattern. I actually really love the color scheme of the outsole of the shoe. They could have gone the boring route and made it one color, but they really went out of their way to make it interesting. On the tip of the toe and on the heel, you've got gum accents. And then in between the gum, you've got red and white accents with the white Jumpman rounding off the sneaker. Overall, the Air Jordan 4 Retro Levi's NRG is a really clean shoe. As I mentioned before, the construction of the sneaker is really well done. To be honest, it does smell a little bit more like glue than other Air Jordans out of the box. Obviously, that's not a deal breaker though. But I think for me, the biggest appeal of this shoe is actually wearing in the sneaker and watching the denim age. I don't know if you've seen any of those customs online where an artist splattered paint on his shoes and sort of rubbed it down with sandpaper. I think that looks awesome. I mean, yeah, I used to customize sneakers, but I don't think I'm ballsy enough to actually customize this pair. I think I'm gonna let this pair actually age naturally by wearing it a lot and just seeing how it turns out. I mean, the more you wear a pair of jeans, the better they look, right? So this should be the same sort of thing. These are dope. There's no getting around it. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Levi's Air Jordan 4 and whether you plan on grabbing a pair for yourself. Once again, thank you to Ubik in Philadelphia for the awesome service. Make sure to check them out if you're in Philadelphia. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.